Like most applications, Adobe Photoshop contains a series of application drop-down menus. In the case here at the top left-hand side, they're signposted by a single word and hint towards the kind of commands you'll find in those drop-down menus. So under the file menu, although not the most exciting set of options available in Photoshop, they certainly do contain some of the more important, such as locating a file to open or closing a document, exporting to a different file format and even printing as well. You'll notice that where we have this chevron symbol over on the right hand side, that will lead you to a sub menu. In the case of open recent, well, that will give you a list of up to 20 documents that you've opened recently on this version of Photoshop, saving you from the hassle of having to browse for those files on a connected network device. Under the edit menu, you'll find some rudimentary options like copy and paste, but also things like spell checking. And lower down, we have options where you can define color management, you can change keyboard shortcuts. And if you're working on a PC, you'll also find something called preferences, which we'll look at in a follow up video. And here in the image menu, well, these will generally apply edits to the entire artwork as it suggests. But this contains probably the most important option in the whole of Photoshop image size. It will provide for you very important information about the quality of your images. We have layers where we can take a look at how we can arrange artwork in multiple levels in your document. Type menu for all things text related. Select menu for isolating certain portions of your image to make focused edits rather than affecting the whole artwork. And the filter menu will do things like apply effects, stained glass windows, or even putting artwork into perspective and warping content as well. It is possible to add 3D objects inside of Photoshop, but that's not for this course. Under the view menu, you'll find a range of ways to change the view of your artwork, make it look larger, smaller, make it fit on screen, making life easier to navigate around your artwork. We have a plugins menu where you can browse and pay for plugins online and add them to Photoshop to extend its functionality. And we have the window menu, specialized toolkits in the interface where you can achieve a certain kind of task, such as creating a color or storing a color. And under the help menu, you can do things like sign out of your Creative Cloud account, or you can choose to go and find out what's new online, explore tutorials, or even explore the online digital manual for Photoshop, which contains some very handy answers to questions that you might have. So those are the application drop down menus. You'll find many of the options that you're looking for in Photoshop from amongst those menu options at the top.